end this! Yeah! Silent! The only thing that will end here is your life! Welcome to the realm of legendary Yak Way! Hey guys, what's going on? This is Legendary Yak Wayne back again in the flesh, and I kind of want to address this issue. I know that I said I wasn't going to address any more drama, but I kind of want to—I want to help out new viewers who come to my channel, so you guys can kind of have a perspective on what is really going on with certain people in the community, what they're building, and what they're trying to do. Now, I have an example today, and. This is like the main one because it's a big one. You know, I really, when I saw this, I was like, okay, that's it. I'm, I'm really sick of this. It's really, really sad. Now, the person I want to focus on is a YouTuber named Zonky Gaming. Okay, now just to give you guys a little backstory on Zonky, he's actually somebody who was, I guess you could say, a big fan of mine. You know, he used to make like little family videos of my mods, he used to moderate. On my uh, on my live streams all the time because I knew that he was a fan and he's been around a very very long time. So I liked him. I felt like he was a cool kid. You know, he couldn't become a patron and I would give him mods or whatever so um, he can actually experience the fun because he was like he would always support me. He would kind of defend me against like other haters. But it was more of a I feel like it was more of a stand type of defense. You know, people that they just just because they like you. They're going to defend you. They don't really care what the reason is. They're just going to defend you just because. So obviously, people don't really care about stands if they're on your side. But when they kind of become a hater, there you, you kind of see the bigger issues with that. So yeah, like I said, I even had him as a moderator on my Discord, where you know I felt like I wanted the community to kind of run the Discord because. That is the community Discord, it's the subscriber Discord. And I have my Patreon Discord for people that uh, directly support me with funds and things like that. So let's go ahead and get into the point. Uh, yesterday I decided to confront Zanki and I was like, yo, why do you hate me? What's the problem, bro? Like, what did I do to you? Because all I can think of is me being really nice and like, and one day I decided to ban him because I saw him doing some two-faced actions. He decided to kind of trash talk me. I know some of you guys know that Tengen Kage video and he wanted to kind of trash talk me. I was like, yo, you're in my Discord. You're, you're a moderator of the community that I run. How can you trash talk somebody and say you don't like them, but you are a leader in their community? which is basically supporting them. It didn't make any sense. So I was like, okay, it's weird. But I'm just gonna ban you, dude. Who cares? Okay, I'll move on with my life. Find other people to uh, deal with who actually want to be in the community for the right reasons, okay? And they're not just trying to join the trend of hating somebody just because it's fun. Um, <laughs> some of you guys may know Charlemagne, and he always says something that's really true. It's, it, it resonates with me because People do not care for the truth if the lie is more entertaining. And that's a, that's a true thing. Everybody loves to to hate because it's more fun. They, they want to see how far they can push somebody before they get a great reaction, but it's not going to happen. Like I said, I'm successful in what I'm doing. My subscribers are going up, my viewers are going up, and I'm doing me. So if I kept ignoring them, like, it really wouldn't matter. Like, they would stay where they're at, and I would continue to ride and do my own thing. But when we have this discussion, I basically proved him wrong in every fabric of the way. The reason, the only reason that he hated me was because I banned him. Because he was secretly a big fan, now he became like this soldier of I hate Agwain and Agwain stiz and he's if, if I was such a terrible guy, because I've always been the same way, if I was such a terrible guy, why would you support me in the first place? It's fake, you know? So all it is is just him being broken hearted. And, you know, he just can accept the fact that he will never be in my community again. But I did forgive him and let him come back into my community after he admitted he had no reason to lie. And I'll show you guys these in the comments here. He basically, like, he tried his hardest to continue to lie. And we narrowed down to it that, okay, he's like, oh, well, you know, I heard this and that. You know, it's like, please, man. Like, I'm, I'm going to put all of this here for you guys so you can kind of see. And 
you kind of see that all he did was just backpedal. He backpedaled until eventually I cornered him with the truth, and he was like, okay, he's sorry, he was wrong, this and that. He was like, oh, well, you know, I felt like you were pitying me because... Because it narrowed down to the only thing that he had to say that he could hate me on. Because I proved him wrong with the whole Ting and Kaya thing. Ting and Kaya is basically lying. That's a whole other story. I may touch on that in another video where I can actually focus on that directly. But, um, he basically said, when I used to give him mods, he felt like I was pitying him. Now, how many of you guys have I just given free mods up? Like, given, like, beta access to, and you haven't paid anything? I would give it to him because he was a fan of mine. It's like, if you're a fan, it's like, okay, I want to help you out. I want to give you something because apparently you can't get on Patreon because you're young. And I understand that. But I'm not just going to give it to you for free. I'm going to give you a way where you can actually earn it. So I, I would have him kind of give me feedback. And he would do it in a kind of extensive way. And it was cool. I didn't have a single problem with him. Until he started trash talking me down my back. So he kept on repeating the whole pity thing. And it's like, yo. How many of you guys would love it if somebody gave you something you want out of pity because they felt like you couldn't afford it? Which you couldn't afford it, and yes, that is pity too, but it's not just pity, it's because I also know you and I thought you were a cool kid. So, it really didn't make any sense, but at the end of the day, he had to admit that that was completely bullshit. That was a bad excuse, okay? And majority of people that so-called hate me, they do so because of them for whatever trollish thing that they've done, and they're just like ag-wing hate extremists, and they talk all day about me. The reason I decided to ban him today is because when I went on his Twitter to kind of, after I unblocked him, I saw how hardcore this guy was going about me, and I don't even talk about him. I don't, like, I wasn't thinking about him or anything, and he's just going so hard at me. It's like, okay, yeah, I can't have nobody like that in my community, bro. Like, it just can't happen. It's, it's not something I'm going to tolerate. So, um... This is just something I wanted to share with you guys. I know it's a long video, uh, over seven minutes, but I'm going to cut it short right here. Um, this is why a lot of people kind of go through their little tangents, all right? There, there's a story behind every person that does it, okay? And I can explain it, but hopefully this video is enough. I just want to give you guys some insight. And uh, I guess that's it. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys later.